Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see by both the title and the items in front of me, I thought we can do a little comparison between the Speedy 20, 25, and 30. So just off the start, as you can see, this is the smallest one, this is the 20, this one is the 25, and this one is the 30. So. The Speedy 30 is the classic. It is without the bandolier. The Speedy 25 does have the bandolier. And the Speedy 20 also has a bandolier. So let's get started, shall we? Let's start with, let's see, biggest to smallest or smallest to biggest? All right, I guess we'll start with biggest to smallest. Okay, my friends, so here, is the Speedy 30, not the bandolier, as I said. We can give a quick look at her. This is the front, this is the side. You can see it's the classic. There's no bandolier strap on the edges, and it has a little cutout on the pull tab, and it has a little tab there that says Louis Vuitton Paris. Here is the back. Is it stuck in there? is the back. Here is the other side. Here is the lock. If you guys seen my other video about the real real, then you guys know this is where I bought that from and the lock came on already. I don't have the key so I can't get it off of there even if I wanted to. This however I got from Organize My Bag. I really like their little Etsy shop. I got this in black as well without the heart. Uh, for my Odeon purse. I showed you guys that as well in a previous video. And that was so nice. I decided to buy one of these as well. This is considered the large and this is metallic rose pink. If you were to go to their page and want to order it, that is what this color is. It does look kind of goldy on camera, but it's a little, it is goldish, but it has like a really light hint of pink on it. All right, anyway, so this is the 30. This, this is it when it's closed. The zipper is gorgeous. Right now, I don't think I have anything in here. Yeah, I just have some dryer sheets in here because, again, if you saw my real video, these two bags that I bought from there have this interesting smell that I'm not in love with. But that's not what this video is about. So this is the 30. So let's see, maybe we can do like a what fits in here kind of thing. All right, I have a bunch. I'm gonna push it here. Let's see. All right, well, I have this water bottle, which is pretty tall. So let's see if he fits in there. Yeah, sure, he fits in here just fine. He can lay down flat. I don't really want to keep him in here, though. I'm not really one to leave water bottles in my bags. Here is a MacBook Pro. Let's see if that goes in there. <clears throat> I mean, not me banging everything. It's hard to bend it. I mean, I'm sure if you really wanted to do it, you could, but I'm not really trying to do all that. It, I mean, it stands up, it's this much longer. So, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't think it really is supposed to fit. Yeah, it's not, it's not really supposed to fit. It would be tight and I wouldn't risk doing that. So no to the MacBook Pro, yes to the water bottle. Um, let's see, we'll just throw it on top. Here's a bunch of, a bunch of empty mini pochettes. Obviously those are going to fit in there. See, all those in there and you still, still got all of that room. It's perfectly fine. Let's see. I'll take all of my stuff from my normal day and the first I'm currently using, which is right here, and just see if it fits. So I have a six ring and a three ring. I do have an organizer for this bag, but it's not in here right now, and I can't be bothered to get up and go get it. I have some sunglasses. I have a little case that holds my charger. Here's a random mask. Here is my Emily wallet, which is uh, big, and you know, you can fit most things in here. Whenever I use a big bag like this, I use that wallet versus my card holder. Here's my round coin purse. Um, I have 
this little thing too. Let me take it off. So, this is really cute. If I can get this off, that'd be great for you guys. <laughs> so this is super cute. It's a little, it's like a pochette, I guess, from this little Chanel bag that I have. It was hooked onto this, but it took forever to get off. So this is what I'm using right now is like one of the mini pochette accessoires that I usually carry around, but I just have my usual stuff in here. I'll just take that and throw it in here. All right, so far so filled. Um, I don't really use these much, but let's see if these fit. I, mean, I don't see why they wouldn't. Let's start with the big one just to see if it fits in there. It, prob it, it will probably fit. I'm not worried about that. It's just a matter of all the mess that's in here now because all those things are already in there. This pen fell out. So, and you can see, and there's still room. Put a card. Put a little one of these. And we're still pretty fine. Throw a phone in. I mean, there's like room, room. Oh my God, it's so heavy. It really is. All that stuff in there, and there is still room. I mean, I'm looking around trying to see if there's anything else I could possibly throw in here just to show you guys, but you can clearly see there's plenty of room. And then you know that the water bottle fit in here. Here's like a little remote. <laughs> there's plenty of room. Let's see that water bottle again. If with all that stuff, could this guy go in here still? Yeah, I mean, look at that, guys. That's crazy. And there's still room to spare. I mean, honestly, this is the size to go for if you have a lot of stuff to carry every single day. And you think that eventually it will get filled up. And it will, I guess, at some point. You could even put clothing in here at this point. There's still room. Like, if you're going away for the night, you need some pajamas or something like that. You're good to go. But, I mean, Louis Vuitton and their bags were originally just supposed to be, like, luggage, right? So, it would only make sense. But, this is a really big bag, one way or another. But, the thing is, it does get heavy. And, the thing is, this one is also a classic versus the bandolier. So, if you're going to carry a lot in there you have to be aware of the fact that it's going to be heavy in your hand and maybe on the crook of your arm versus having a strap that you can throw over your shoulder or even crossbody if you wanted to but it is really good it's good for getaways and now it's empty again it's really really big i mean it's got a big mouth obviously because it is the 30s so there's plenty of room but it does stop on the edges just like um my speedy 25 but when we see later the speedy 20 we'll see that that's a little bit of a different story but yeah i i am in love with this bag it's amazing i'd like to carry it around for its size factor even though i don't fill it up every day i just like the way that it is and i do like it slouchy without the uh, organizer but i do have an organizer for it whenever I feel like I want it to be a little bit more structured. All right, anyway, so moving on to the 25. Oh, by the way, that you can see, but that was monogram. And then I have this 25 here, obviously in the Damir Iban, which is the checkers, if you're not familiar. This one is the bandolier, has the piece of leather all the way down the side and the strap with the hooks on the edges. Here is the front, and this was one of my first bags, if not my first bag, and I loved it, and I've had it for two, maybe more years now, and it's absolutely perfect still. I have nothing to say about it. This is the back. There's no feet on the bottom. There's also no feet on the 30. I don't think there's any feet on any of the speedies. It does come with lock and key. This has been here, and it's lived here uh, its entire life. <laughs> All right, so if we look inside, right away you can see the mouth is so much smaller. There's really no pulling it. You don't want to do that because, I don't know, I just feel like it's going to ruin everything. It is red on the inside, but in here I do have an organizer, which is also red. Let me see if I can get it off of you. Sometimes they're hard to get in and out, especially when the mouth is so small. But yeah. 
so this is the organizer it's really neat it's got a bunch of little slots just gonna whoops there we go a bunch of little slots everywhere it's got this little zipper it's really really cool it's just felt it was just cheap from amazon so okay let's see the inside again as you can see, yep, it's still red. It has a little hook on this side if you wanted to hook your keys or something like that. And it does have one of these little pouches that you can pull out. Ah, forgot to mention in the 30, it does have this also, obviously with the not red interior, but it's the same sort of zipper. And the zipper is really nice. I don't really use it, so it just, I just, I don't know what to put in here. I don't, I don't really need it. I have all the little mini baggies that I throw inside so it's like mm. nice to have though that's it so let's see well, I mean I guess we'll start with the pretty big thing to see if it can fit we'll start with this the big the big mama see if it goes in I mean I don't see that it wouldn't go in it's just going to be a matter of maneuvering and that's really what it is at the end of the day like it's hard to get in here you know got you guys know me that I just don't like to fumble with things like this so yeah, well, it can fit. It's kind of annoying, in my opinion. It takes up a good portion of the bag, but let's see if it can fit my daily stuff in there. I'm not going to keep reviewing everything, you know, the, all the keys. Get <laughs> in there, let's see. Chargy. Yeah, and it's, it's blocking my way in because it's moving over. M maybe with the organizer in, it might give it a more of a place to live. Glasses and wallet. <sighs> Coin purse and mask. <laughs> and then this little pouchy, which I'm using. And then say like my phone. Okay. All right. So all that stuff is pretty much in there. Here we're throwing a little charm. I mean, there's room. It's just, try to think about how you're living on a daily basis. If you're in a hurry, say you need your wallet, you're gonna, you know, you need like a Metro card or like your credit card or whatever really quick. It's like, yeah, okay, things can go in there, but like, is that really how you're trying to live life right now? Oh my gosh, so heavy. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it looks wild when there's too much stuff in there. I like easy access to my stuff, especially my phone. Which, by the way, guys, I pre-ordered the Z Flip 4. <laughs> There's something about that little phone that is just really, really cute to me. And I like the compactness. So whenever I have a little bag, I can just throw it in there and I don't have to really be concerned that it's, my phone is going to take up so much space. I mean, I know it's a downgrade from the S22 Ultra that I have, and it's an old downgrade, obviously, from the iPhone 13 Pro Max that I also have, which I'm actually using to record right now. But you know what? I'm just trying to have fun with my stuff. I'm sick and tired of being bored with my phone. The iPhone is the most boring phone in the world. I mean, yeah, the battery lasts, and yeah, the camera's good, but I'm really not a photographer. And at the end of the day, I'm really not using my phone for any, I can't even get this thing out, guys. I'm not really using my phone for anything other than texting and phone calls and maybe emails, you know? No. Oh, that was annoying. I'll never put this in there again. <laughs> and I just want to have fun with it. You know, I was just I'm here for a good time at a long time, I guess. <laughs> But yeah, so this is the strap. I do have it on the shortest because I'd like to use it as a shoulder bag more than anything else. Here are the handles. Really nice and cool. But yeah. I like this one. This is a good size for an everyday. This is probably the most practical size between the 30 and the 25. I mean, the 30 and the 20. Oh. <laughs> okay, moving on to my newest buddy, who is the Speedy 20. 
I unboxed him with you guys. Uh, I think last week or something like that. But yes, this is a 20. And what I was saying earlier about the mouth was that if you look here, these zippers go a little bit further down. I mean, nothing dramatic. It isn't life-changing. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Okay. There's anything life-changing, but this is the 20. And then if you try to open it, it's... I feel like the mouth is kind of the same almost. Let's, let's look at it. Maybe not. Okay, I'm a little bit nuts there. It's not really the same, but it isn't much bigger. I, if I had four hands, this would be a lot easier. But it, I don't know. I just think the, the zipper going lower on this one makes it a lot easier to open versus this one. They could very well be similar in mouth size, but the bag, of course, is bigger than the 25. But the open mouth is really good. Right now, I just have my little... My little um card holder nothing else in here because i wasn't really using it i was using um just my other bag but let's just take a look at it this is the front this is the side and the difference between this one and the 25s bandolier is this doesn't have the piece of leather all the way down it just has a little piece like this which is connected to a little hoop, which connects to the strap, which is cool. I don't know if this is going to fail after a while because it isn't completely down. I don't under, I don't know if the integrity of it is going to really last, especially if you fill this up and make it very heavy or swing it over your body a lot i mean i don't know hopefully i'm just overthinking it here is the back and here is the other side which again is the same thing same little piece not sewn all the way down this one doesn't have any writing on it just the other side it says louis in paris it does not say made in france because this piece was made in usa but anyways <laughs> Again, no feet. And it's red on the inside, just like my 25 Speedy. And I love that, I love the inside. I was saying in my other video when I unboxed it that this strap makes me wish that the inside was like a similar pink to this pink. So like a hot pink. That would have been cool. All right, so I mean, I, I guess a real quick what fits in here. Um, let's just see if the regular mini pochette fits. Guys, obviously this is not going to fit in here. It barely fit into the 25. Let's see if the small one fits in there. It does. Let's see if my big phone fits in here. It does. But then if you're completely honest, there isn't too much more else that you can really fit in here. Then here's my Emily wallet. I mean, it looks about the same length as the wallet, but as far as it act let me see it hold on let me take this in uh, it's one of those things where you'll have to kind of fumble i mean it's not the end of the world and it does fit in there hopefully you can see it it is in there but if unless you're just taking your phone and your wallet it's a little bit cumbersome Oh, uh, let's see if this cute little pouch can fit in there. I mean, it's, it's a soft uh, denim fabric, so I don't see why it wouldn't fit. Yeah, that actually looks really cute in there. Can't complain about that one. But don't forget also, guys, my mini fichette is empty right now. So it's not taking up much space or doing anything. I'll just sleep it out for now. So this fichette is filled. This is the little agenda. It's my phone. <clears throat> let's say just take my house keys and a mask it's starting to get filled up i mean if i wanted to take my car key it would fit um don't forget that's without the wallet so there's no wallet in there yet i wouldn't be able to take my charger because it's too thick but here's the coin purse if i wanted to take my glasses i probably could if I smushed it in but I really don't like to do that it's kind of already overdone 
Um, so yeah, there isn't really too much that can fit in here. It's not the most practical bag for everyday use, especially if you have a lot of stuff that you want to carry or should carry or need to carry or whatever. I mean, it's, it's, it's a cute grab and go bag. It's a cute, maybe like nighttime bag. If you're just going to bring a small compact card holder, just your phone, maybe just your keys for your house. And that's really it, honestly. And I'm not saying that, you know, to knock this bag or anything or any of these bags. I'm just showing you guys what works and trying to make it the most practical in real life to all of you who may be considering getting one of these bags and are just not sure which size would actually work for you. I mean, I didn't try the water bottle with the 20, 25, but look at him next to the 20. <laughs> no way, no how is he going in here in any way, whether it's this way or even standing. I mean, he can go in here standing, sure, but you know, for what? For what am I walking around looking like that? <laughs> it's a cute bag, don't get me wrong. They're all cute, they're all nice, and they're all beneficial in their own way. And if you need all three, because you want all three sizes, then go ahead and go for it. I mean, I did the same thing. But this is not an everyday bag for me, even now during the summer. And I'm not even working during the summer because I don't, I don't work during the summer. But even that I find I'm just going back and forth here and there, I need more space inside of it. It's, it's fine. Like I said, card holder, phone, maybe one little pochette full of stuff. So maybe like your Advil or whatever in there is about as far as I'd like to go. Maybe your keys or whatever. So that's really just what fits in there. Um, the 30, I really do like, but I am a really big bag sort of person. So if I had to choose my favorite size, it would be the 30. The one that I feel the majority of people could use is the 25. And, um, like I said, this one's cute if you only have a bunch of small stuff. When I unbox my Z Flip, I'll make a video for you guys. And we can put it in here and see how much space it actually takes and see if that's better with this sort of bag. But yeah, I'm going to do that for you guys too. This is a 20 again. Um, I don't know if any I'm missing anything else. Hopefully I'm not. Um, if you guys have any questions or want me to do anything else or do something differently, definitely let me know. And I will uh, talk to you guys soon. Let me know which size you like the best and which one you think would work best for your lifestyle. And then what print would you choose? Oh, 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 P.S., P.S., P.S. <laughs> this is not Louis Vuitton, but I thought this is so darn cute. My aunt gave it to me yesterday. Look at this. Look at this. It's a Chanel. It is so cute. It's a denim like fabric -y bag. It's got a little clicky here. <gasps> so cute. I know this video is not about it. <laughs> and it comes with this little baby. And you can clip it on the inside and I'm obsessed. <laughs> and this is just the bag that I'm using for now. It's nothing to do with Louis, but he was cute and I wanted to share with you guys. Alrighty guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.